Come get this. Jan's full name. Jan, what is your full name, babe? Janice Sociadar Garwood. Okay. There again, my recording. Uh, we, I just started this recording about 10 seconds ago, and I didn't have a mic on. So we, um, we'll let uh, Jan know that we, this is being recorded. And Jan, do we have your permission to record this? Yes, you have my permission to okay. record. Okay, we got Kathy and Hillary, so go ahead and share. And Judy Jones. And Judy Jones. So, Jan, let me ask you questions and you can answer them for the recording. Um, we saw that you posted on Facebook that the facility has put bars on your bedroom window. Is that correct? Yes, it is. And you... And I did ask them if they were going to put them on anybody, you know, why, why mine? And the girl answered me that they're putting them on all of them, including the ones like in the main room. Did they tell you why they were doing this? I'm sorry? Did they tell you why or explain why they were doing this? No. And what else? I don't know the, why they put on the locks to begin with, but then after the locks to put the bars, you'd think if they had the bars on, they'd leave the locks off, so if I wanted to get some fresh <coughs> air in here, I could. So you can't even get any fresh air? You cannot open No, I can't windows. open my windows at all. How long has it been since they've taken you outside for fresh air? The last and only time I was out was when I went with Estrella to go in front of the judge to save my house from being sold. You have any idea how long ago that was? I think it was December the 5th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's what you told me before. Mm -hmm. That was the one and only time since I've been here. When's the last time you've been out to see sunshine? That was it. That was it? Well, no, I, I was out when I went in the ambulance to go to the emergency room. Why did you go to the emergency room? Because my arms and my neck were killing me from the woman who attacked me. Who attacked you? Her name is Karen. She, and she's a patient and or a worker? Got me. She's one of the patients. And did you tell anyone in the facility that she was bothering you physically? And yeah, course, they try to watch to keep her away, but... They, I try to keep my door closed, but she does. She likes to walk into my room and see what she can find to pick up and walk out with, and if I'm in the way, then she comes after me. My right arm, she bit it. That was the first thing she did, and she hit the nerve in my hand, and it affected the first three fingers of my thumb on my right hand. Has she did On my left hand, it was about a month ago, about six o'clock in the morning, she came into my room and as I was getting her, pushing her out of my room, she grabbed my hand. And when she fell down, she pulled me with her and I landed on my hand. When I went to the emergency room, they gave me a brace to wear. So obviously I damaged it or I wouldn't have a brace. Right. And they, uh, they told me the bones would be affected. Can my you neck is the same thing. Can I Are you getting you ongoing treatment for that? No. Well, yes and no. I've got my pills, and they give me a cream to rub on it. Do you it, remember it, the it, name it, of the cream? Uh, I, I don't have a... It, they just give it to me in a little pill bottle, but I did write it down. I think I even talked to you about it before. Dilantin? Yeah. Jan, can I ask you a question? 
can I ask a question? Sorry to interrupt you. Uh, who's the president? Do you know who the president is? Trump? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Trump. Do you know what... We hate to doing? call him the president, I, by the way, but right. so that was well, appropriate. But he still is. He's still is. What is the name of that cream? Because Dilantin is a seizure medication. Almost everything I have is a seizure well, we, medication. And I don't it. have seizures. We, we looked it up. So it really <laughs> annoys me. I, I had asked for a list of my meds, and my guardian refused to allow me to have them. <coughs> now, we looked up your cream for your arthritis or inflammation, remember? And I can't remember the name of it. It's not a uh, seizure. It's, anti, it's a prescription anti-inflammatory, non-steroid. Mm -hmm. uh, can I ask you yeah, I can you find know? it somewhere. I just, you know, this is like spur of the moment. What's yeah, the don't worry about it. Yeah, that's not my question. So you said that earlier tonight that they had also installed video cameras in some of the public areas, like hallways in the dining hall, right? All the public areas. All the public areas. Do you keep your door shut? Do I think what? Do you keep your door shut to your room? 90% uh, of the time I do, except when my roommate's calling and I want the nurses to hear her. Because if I go out and say, hey, she's awake, she's calling, they ignore me. But if you, you've heard her before. She lays yeah, in bed and screams. Yeah. So is one so of I do cameras? open it so that she can get hurt. And there's there's a camera that they can see my bedroom when I walk out of it. Is it pointed into your room? Well, my room is the first one across from the nurse's station, and it's right there. It's not right outside my door, but it's when I'm facing my door walk out, it's about a foot to the left of my room. And that's why I can't, like, take my phone out. They watch me cook my meals and stuff. They see it. They tell me to get a cup of coffee. They tell me I'm not supposed to help myself, but if I can't get anybody else to help me. You mean they let you cook? I just warmed up. I warmed up my dinner just now. They gave me vegetables, those and the grilled cheese sandwich. They give her dinner sometimes super early. Like I called one day and she'd gotten her dinner and I think it was like 3.30. Or something like that. Yeah, they really give it early. to me early, and then I I put it over on the corner and have them either they warm it up or I do. Like now, about seven o'clock. Otherwise, by ten o'clock, I'm hungry again. Mm. Are you allowed to have, have breakfast? <clears throat> when, what time generally do you have breakfast? Uh, they serve it anywhere from. Usually about eight o'clock. Do they serve it, or do you go down to the dining room to get it? It's just right out the door. They they send it. And the people sit at the tables and eat, and I bring mine in my room. But you have to go and get it. You go and retrieve it. I have it to go and get it. Sometimes, and sometimes. You're, you're in a man who's on. The, They'll okay, come open my door and say, hey, the coffee's here or whatever, but... And you're in a memory unit. And I'm in the memory care unit, yes. And they're not bringing a tray to your bed, putting it on your bed. Well, they table. don't want me eating in my room anyway. How do you know that? Because they're fighting and everybody else is trying to do it. There was there, a new yeah. woman that moved in next door to me and she tried to bring her meal in. She asked for coffee and they told her that she, when she comes out to sit down, they'd let her have it. And so what is your roommate who is on hospice and screaming out in pain all the time? How does she get her meals? They usually wake her up in the morning and put her in the chair. That's how I know it's breakfast time. And she gets up and she likes scrambled eggs, so they always go, we got eggies, we got eggies. And she gets up and she has her scrambled egg. And at a norm, I say that she's back in bed again about 10.30, quarter to 11. And I say to them, you know, hey, 
it's three o'clock and she's awake. Why don't you put her back in the chair and put her out there? No, she's fine. When it's lunch and dinner time, they bring in a bowl. They try to give her a mouthful or two. Most of the time, she spits it out, so she doesn't get fed very much. Oh, she's very her son brings you. donuts for her, which she likes. She'll eat her donuts, but that's it. Uh, is there very many people there, uh, Jan, that lives on your floor that you can communicate with? Some don't have their brains. I can't sit and have a full conversation with anybody. I'd say it's normal. There's a couple of people so, that are, you know, hi, good morning, sit down next to me, that kind of thing. But what do for you the purposes of really sharing and recording? The downstairs floor are the more active people in the nursing facility. The second they're, floor they're the ones they call confident second floor is the memory and I asked yes and I asked to be moved downstairs and I did it in writing also to the nurse and they keep telling me they're repairing the rooms they don't have a room available yet and what are you paying you've been told you're paying for for your room they're charging me four thousand dollars a month Yes, they charge everybody else. From what I understand, about fourteen hundred at the most. Jan, do and I think they hang on. I think they advertise on their website the most expensive room is around two thousand on their website. I looked it up. Jan, do you have very many outside visitors come to see y'all? Like like church members or. My guardian won't allow my son or my girlfriend to come visit me, so I don't have anybody. What do you do for your religious holidays since you're Jewish? Do your rabbi come? No. The uh, We have an activities lady, and she was nice enough to cut some menorahs and make some things, and she taped them on one of the windows. Uh, there was one other Jewish lady here, but she went into it somewhere else and hasn't come back. So, do you feel like you've been denied practicing your faith while being there? Um, not really, because she did that, but I'm the only one. Have you been able to share But they didn't do real heavy-duty Christmas either, unless their families came and visited them. They didn't give Christmas presents or do any of that. On the down, I'm sure on the first floor, there were... Specific on the first specific. floor, I'm sure they did stuff, but up here they didn't anyway. Can I ask you a question? Is your rabbi denied? Is your rabbi out allowed to come and visit you or to call you and talk to you and practice your faith with you? I honestly don't know. There was a rabbi that was here and he came because of the other lady. Her name was Dorothy. And I went over to speak with him and talk to him about Hanukkah and if he could get a menorah put here and candles. And he said, I work for hospice or VTOS or whatever it is. He said, I can't talk to you. Wow. He was really rude about it. Jan, what is his name? Do you, wait, do you know his name by any chance? No, I didn't get his name. Okay. Do, Jan, hey, how long is it? Jan, do you know the lady who he was went to go see, or the man? As I said, her name was Dorothy. I only know people by their first name. Okay. They don't introduce people. So the rabbi went to go see Dorothy. Uh, was it this year or last year that he came? Now. Right. That was like three weeks ago. Okay. Jan, how long has it been since you've had your eyes checked or had blood work done or, or seen? Um, well, I've been trying to get my teeth fixed and I need to have my eyes checked. But, when was the last um, time you were taken to a dentist or to an optometrist? Uh, it was when Estrella took me before I was Baker acted the first time with Rebecca. So, I need glasses very badly. 
probably a good year and a half, possibly two years. And have you and my teeth I need to get done. I, keep, I think yeah. I sent you a copy. There was a, an ad where they were doing free <laughs> yeah, implants. Yes. And I sent it to Australia, but I haven't heard a word. Yeah. Have Have you had Have you had blood work done in the last year? Yeah, I had my blood work done when I went to the emergency room. How many times have you been Baker acted? Well, basically, the Baker acting was just for months because they transferred me from one place to the other. Jan well, Baker was in the hospital. Okay, wait a minute, Jan. Wait, wait, wait. When they Baker acted you, did they run blood work and do any physical exam on you? Did they do what? Who? A physical exam on you. Did they run any blood work or do any exam on you? I corrected? don't remember any blood work. Um, it was the kind of thing. I've got some paperwork from there. There was another young man who was resenting being there uh, where they had everybody sit in a group and you had to sit in that room and watch TV and they closed the room at 10 o'clock at night and everybody had to go to bed. Yeah. Jan, I'm and not... That was, and they had somebody that would talk to you, but it wasn't like a psychiatrist. Jan, I'm not... Do you know what... Wait, wait. Do you know what kind of specialty they were if they weren't a psychiatrist? What kind of what? I'm sorry. What kind of doctor specialty were they? I have not the slightest idea. Oh, yeah. uh, Jan, I'm not real smart when the it comes. The one I have now is the one that's supposedly helping me, Dr. Desimore. He tried twice. The first time he, he got me all excited. He told me he was going to send me home as long as Alex could move in with me. I was going to go home. And that was about two months ago. Do you girls remember? I was all excited. I was going home. I was going home. It was, it was more than two months, I think. And then... For some reason, they must have threatened him or whatever. And he came back and told me that he wasn't going to be able to do it. Okay, Jan? He doesn't really come and see me anymore. He just renews my prescriptions. Yes. Yeah, Jan, okay, I'm not real smart in the law. And uh, the best of your ability, can you explain to me what the Baker Act is? Well, they just took everything away from me. They came, Rebecca Fierley came one day, and it was soon after I had bought my car and used the trust money to buy my car. Uh -huh. She came to my home, and she knocked on my door and said, give me the keys to your car, and I'm having your mail transferred to me. And then within a couple of days, they came and picked me up and took me to that part of the hospital. How did she find it you? Advent, it was part of Advent Health, and that's the place I think that she was doing the, the do not resuscitates. Yeah. How did, do you know how she found you? No. She just came out of the blue and knocked yes, on your door? Yes, my cousin Laura. Who's Laura? Our cousin. My cousin Laura in Ohio. What did she do? She looked her up and thought she was someone that could take care of me and help me. And I don't think she really, she claimed she didn't realize what kind of person she was. What kind of help do you need? You sound like you're doing pretty good to me. <sighs> well, I don't. let's take this. Let's take this back a step. When you were Baker anyway, acted, uh, let me go back with Dr. Desimore so we can finish with him. He came back because, if you remember, Vito sent the lady through the phone to yes. do a competency test on me, and we're waiting to get the the results that are written. Um, if I get competency tested, they can't hold me here. And Dr. Desimore came in and he told me 
is hide. They found somebody because I kept emailing him. Can you find somebody? Can you find somebody? And he came in and he said he had found somebody and he's going to send them over. I don't know when, and that was just before the holiday, so it could be another week or two. It could be a month. I don't know. That's why I was hoping Vito would do something with the one that he had to get me out of here. Well, I'm gonna be well, well uh, Jan, before you went into guardianship, was you living by yourself? No, my son and his girlfriend were living with me. My other son was living with me for a while. And Laura, my cousin, her thought was that they were taking advantage of me and spending all my money and letting me support them and blah, blah, blah. And she said they got their share of the trust money and were told to leave. What did your son, uh, do you still have contact with your son? Yes. I speak with both of them. I can't speak no, that much with really. either one. Eric is in Oregon. He well, found he, a woman that he fell in love with. He told me last week they're getting married in September and he wants me to come. To be on that, Jan can only communicate, uh, and I can only talk to him over the phone. Yeah, in secrecy. She's been blocked from contact from everybody, her sons, her friend, us, everybody, her attorney. And she has a secret cell phone, and that's how she keeps in touch. <laughs> on, on the attorney activity log, he uh, makes notations, uh, saying that a reporter from one of the news channels contacted him about Jan Garwood's case. And he the next day contacted Jan's guardian and made sure that all phone communication and all visitation rights were taken away from Jan for trying to, to let the truth be known about her being held in captivity. And not only that, in reading records on the docket, her cousin um, supposedly waived Jan's rights to attend a hearing. I believe that's what I read. So how her cousin has any kind of authority over Jan is beyond me, uh, especially when this started or why anybody would listen to anybody. Jan, to Jan did you have a, a right. power of autonomy? Okay, you've got to give me a minute, Sherry, before you jump in. It, it's pretty disturbing to me. And her cousin got her portion of the trust. Jan did not. Jan's was retrusted in another restrictive trust, but her cousin got hers. Didn't it go to a special needs trust, pulled into a well, special needs <clears throat> trust? Jan, <clears throat> Jan, before this guardianship started, did you have a power attorney? Um, I had just asked Estrella to be my power of attorney, and I did it in writing. And Estrella has the letter. Um, uh, Rebecca went to Australia and asked her if she wanted to be my guardian. And I don't know what happened that Australia didn't do it. She didn't have her license at that time. But she didn't do it, and that's when they got Denise Willis involved. But I don't think Rebecca Fierle knew that Australia was that much of a friend to me. I've got one guy that keeps sending emails on the internet, um, and he was from our Compassionate Friends group, and I got an email from him today that this is going to be like the last email for a year. He's not going to be sending any more emails, and I don't know if they contacted him and told him not to do it anymore to stay out of contact with me. Well, we'll have he two more days. And Jewish. This and he was sending me Hanukkah stories and that kind of thing. What are you asking? Are you asking if somebody has threatened him or told him he can't communicate? I with you? can't because I can't call him. I don't have his number and I don't want to write it. I 
don't want too many people to know I have the phone, so I don't want Yeah, them. does he contact you on Very Facebook or email? I mean, obviously, he knows yeah, you Facebook. On okay. Facebook. Obviously, he knows you can communicate with him electronically somehow. So, asking him. Well, I, I wouldn't ask to be in questions on Facebook. That's not private. No, that's what I said. All I do is I don't even make comments except I, you know, I get liked or not liked or whatever. Right. Yeah. If I find or something take really interesting, of your I get like out bars. You do that. Well, I just did that, and I wasn't I sure it even worked. It I was, work. I was kind of saying, I don't know. It's just the life that you're living. You're cutting yeah, out. Yeah. You should see how they promote that place. Palms of Long, Longwood. You know, like everything is hunky-dory and every all the residents are having a great time. And here are you, our friends, we can't even see you. You're hiding your phone and everything has been taken away from you. And you're, it, it, I think I, I told you that there was one of the guys that works here. The other night who yeah. works downstairs mostly and he told me that this man that's only 65 was stuck in here by his wife and he hates it and he didn't want to be here and his wife put him here because mm. I asked him if he knew any of Rebecca Fierley's clients downstairs he told me he didn't know anybody that was still alive Okay, well, Jan, I want to remind you that we're still recording this conversation. Okay. Yeah, we might want to turn that off. I don't know. All right. Well, out your bar windows, what does it look like on the outside? What do you see? You face a street? You face right. a courtyard? It's a little bit of a courtyard and a couple of people's backyard. One just put up a fence, but the trees are all falling down. And they're not well kept. Do you know what side of the facility you're on? North, south, west, east? I don't Maybe. know. You're not sure. When you walk into the front doors of the facility, do you know where your room is oriented? No, because I have to go through the downstairs and there's long halls okay. to get to where the elevator is. I have no idea. parking lot if I look through the front windows where the main room is you can see the parking lot where people park to come up and that's on the other side of the building so I'm on the back end do you know what your room number is Jan? um 508 508. We'll have to remember that. Hey. Why in the world do they do 508 when you're on the second floor? Who needs to be in the memory unit? Who needs to be? I'm thinking it's a facilities guy. Hmm? They never, I mean, your, your room is usually the floor number and a number. Why would they do 508 on the second floor? Oh, I did, yeah. I know. Who knows? That's weird. Oh, yeah. Jan, really... do you get to take a bath yeah. very often? What did you say? Yeah. You... Yeah, so there's a shower here. I can take one every day. Okay, good. Do you do it on your own? I do it on my own. Do you know what ADLs are? What? what? A-E-L. Do you know what that means? No. Active daily living task. It is washing yourself, brushing your own teeth, going to the bathroom, dressing yourself. All the basic... I do everything myself, and I'm the only one here that does. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. So everybody else has to have their diapers changed by the nurses and that kind of stuff, and I don't. I you have, have to ask for them when I run out, but that's it. Do you have any therapies like physical therapy or occupational therapy or anything? No, nothing. Do y'all help? Do y'all play 
Do y'all play bingo or anything like that? Do I do what? Do you play bingo play or cards or puzzles? I, as I told you, they have the, uh, uh, this lady that comes. And they usually paint pictures and color and do things like that. They don't play bingo, do anything that I could get involved with. They have one lady that comes and she brings her guitar and she sings. She comes about once every two months. Oh, and she was wow. here this week and that's it. She's in a memory unit, ladies. No, if you're in memory care, you don't play bingo. You can't play cards. Well, my mom did, that's what I'm saying. It just depends. And hers is pretty severe. Nothing, nothing to stimulate you. Nothing. Do you know? Do you know? I wonder if they'd let me in to come sing to everybody. Oh gosh. I don't know if that would be a good thing. Are you good? Are you a good singer? No. <laughs> hey, it depends on how many drinks you've had. Well, I'll never remember it anyway. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I have a friend who who contacted me from the internet that I used to work with and he sent me he's in Brandon Florida and I don't I don't know where that is but Brandon. he's still doing Brandon. he's still doing hair and he oh, said he goes he goes and he sings and I was going to ask him if he wanted to contact them and see if he could come sing here That'd be nice. Idea, actually. I'll have you know, I was the youngest accepted to honor chorus in my high school. Thank you very much. That was a thousand years ago, Jenny. I don't care. I still sing. Two million years ago. Don't downplay a major accomplishment in your sister's life. Not amazing grace. Don't make me go there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure you're welcome to. Uh, all I know is her name is Clarissa, but I don't know what her last name is, and she does the stuff here. I'm just saying, what better way to get in and do some snooping? You recorded on a recorded. I don't care. Session. Uh. <coughs> do, do, how is the food there, Jan? It sucks, thank you. <laughs> is that... I told you, I'm, I, it's cold now. I got a grilled cheese sandwich and some vegetable soup. That's <coughs> it. Is that... Got the grilled cheese, the special. Jan, yeah, is, that, special. is that the grilled cheese... About. Over medium or sunny side, sunny shot, sunny side up. No, this one was almost burnt, but charcoal, charcoal, yeah. barbecue. Who, who, who makes those? Who makes those grilled cheese sandwiches? By the way, is the facilities They have or? a kitchen here, but the the kitchen person quit, and somebody else took over, and they've been trying to do it. And, that can't it's go. not great. Is that is that the reason why you only get grilled cheese sandwiches anymore? Has that happened, or were you getting them before that? No. Um, oh, I don't eat ham. Like tonight, the soup came with a ham and cheese sandwich. Right. And since I don't eat a ham and cheese sandwich, they gave me a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. <clears throat> If you could, if you could have right. something brought to you, Jan, to eat, what would you like to have? Uh, a pizza. <laughs> and I said when I talked to Jan the first time, however many months ago, she said, remember you said to me, you said, you know, Hillary, and I said, yes, Jan, you said, if I ordered a pizza pie right now, I couldn't even pay for one slice of it. Because well, I don't have a nickel, and the paperwork that I have from the other place, from the other hospital that I was in, that lists what the guardianship is and what it's supposed right. to, your guardian is supposed to do, and 
how they're supposed to visit you and bring you money and do all this stuff. Right. She hasn't done any of it. What has she done for you? Keep me here? Nothing for me personally that I'm aware of. Nothing positive, yes? Yeah? No. When's the I, last time? She doesn't make sure I have clothes or that buy me a bottle of deodorant or nothing. How do you get clothes? I'm sorry? How do you uh, get clothes to wear? Do you get hand me downs or does your son give you clothes? or? When people die, they go through the clothes and spread them out. I got some yesterday because I needed some. That's very disturbing. That is very disturbing. I don't I'm have any of my own clothes. I have this a couple of pairs of flops, but that's it. This woman is listed as a beneficiary to a hundred million dollar trust. But she's having to wear dead people's clothes. That's really disturbing. Really don't disturbing. even have a trust. That's exactly it is. Wow, that's <clears throat> must be speechless. Well, that's why you have to put bars on people's windows. Yeah. And, and, and you know what? I can't even go there. And I, I would drive there right now and get you and do, take you out and do everything. Move you in with me, go back to your house, whatever. But these people are insane. This is crazy what I'm hearing. Did you ever, oh my goodness. Jan, did you ever get to talk to the judge? Yeah, yes, the judge said he's, I believe the judge is being paid by Janice. What did you tell the judge? Well, well let's, I back only, up. let's back up one moment. I yeah, asked yeah. him a couple of times about trying to get me out of here, talking to his secretary. And then the only time I actually got to talk to him is when I went on December 5th, because they were trying to... No, it was my October, house. right? Wasn't it October? December the 5th. December 5th. Is when... You went to court. Australia took me to go to court because they were trying to sell my house to the management here. The ladies, you sent me the pictures, Hillary. Yeah. I think it was October. And one of the repairmen, the one who probably October. put up my bars, yeah, they were going to other... sell my house to them for 250000 and they took pictures of the house and said the house was dirty and the walls were falling apart and the roof was leaking. And so let's they, back up a moment. I Jan said to, to, to the judge, I said, well, if all these problems are there, why didn't she fix it? Well, and so when they said they wanted to sell it for 250000 I said, can I buy it then? So the only court that I'm aware of that Jan's been allowed to attend was this one she's talking about. And I, I really think it was an October, and but maybe. the attorney didn't show up. That was she had no, at that time. She had no. They wouldn't even record. let Estrella sit with me at the table, even though I, okay. she got her guardianship license and I tried to get her to be replacing. She had no Denise. legal representation in that hearing. Not to zero. I bet you I paid for Denise's attorney, from what I understand. You know you did. You know you did. Of course. The other thing I was asking is, thinking, um, she took my my baby, my dog, and donated her to the rescue, and they said she was sick. Well, of course, that again was Denise not taking care of her. But that it was like twenty one hundred dollars they paid to fix her, uh-huh. have her made healthy again. And I wonder when I talked to him about her, he said, I'm not talking to you about her. She did he Willis brought her here. But I wonder if the monies that was used was my money. She took that twenty one hundred dollars out of my money to pay it. Of course she did. Twenty one hundred is quite a hefty vet bill. I yeah. wonder what was yeah, done to that dog I for twenty one hundred. I don't know. Because that's not that's not a typical 
exam plus medication. And I asked if I could get her back, and he said no, that they placed her with somebody, but it wasn't like somebody adopted her. Mm. And she's 12 years old. I wanted to at least go visit her and see if she still remembered me. But are you allowed to have dogs there, animals, pets, where you're at? No, that was what, one of the first things I asked if you know if I could get my dog and be on the ground <coughs> floor. Because the first time when I was walking around, I noticed they had a dog bowl out for food, but that dog must have died or whatever, or the person <sighs> moved. And there's no animals here at all. Okay, well, uh, Jan, I have been recording you for about 40 minutes now, so <clears throat> I'm going to wrap this up and go ahead and turn this recorder off, okay? Yes. Okay, bye-bye.